Week 9, Problem 8. Two coils are placed near each other as shown in the figure below. The coil on the left is connected to a battery and a switch. And the coil on the right is connected to a resistor. And no switch. Okay, what is the direction? Ah, this is a review question. I think you guys got an exam coming up. Good luck on that. Boom. Hmm, I should get a copy of that exam. Anyway, moving on. What is the direction of current in the resistor and an instant immediately after the switch is thrown closed? Okay, so this is, I can't remember, is it Lenz's Law? I don't know, something. This is the uh, induced voltage is negative deflux DT, which equals negative, flux is magnetic field times area, magnetic field times area, so using the product rule, we then have negative dBdt times area plus dADt times magnetic field. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little equals epsilon. Yeah, it's not my best epsilon. All right, I'm going to place this guy right over here so I can use him. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, fine, I don't even want to move you. All right, so what is the direction of the current at an instant immediately after the switch is thrown? So, switch is thrown, there is a current. I've been using blue a lot. Ooh, that's, a, that's an interesting green, kind of like a... So, current comes up this way, down this way, down this way, down this way, down this way, using the right hand rule. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. Okay. So current's going to, uh, magnetic field is going to go this way. Up, up. Mm. Got it. Yep. And when you see a battery, you know that electrons are moving, but just pretend that it's not really electrons. They are positive charges moving in the positive direction. So when you say current going this way, be like, oh, there's positive charges moving that way. It's not true, but it doesn't matter because current is really negative electrons moving in the negative direction, which just makes life more confusing. All right, so we have a magnetic field that goes like this. And so the magnetic field in uh, through this coil is rising. Okay, that seems reasonable. All right, hop, 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 there we go. So looking at this guy, and then I'm gonna say, all right, so this guy, magnetic field, respect to time, greater than zero. A, and that's fine. DADT, area change, zero. So we have a, a positive times a uh, negative. So we're gonna have a epsilon less than zero. So what this means is it's gonna produce a magnetic field that opposes the uh, first magnetic field. It's gonna create a, it's gonna create a, an induced voltage and associated current that's gonna create a magnetic field that is opposite to the first magnetic field. That's what the less than zero means. This less than zero means an opposite direction of this guy. This guy right there. So we want to produce a magnetic field. Ooh, purple. Ooh, that's a fancy purple. What have these colors been all my life? Magnetic field going this direction. So to do that, we, we want to have, let's see, up. Okay, right hand rule. So we're going to want to have current going this direction. Eh, stupid B. There we go. It comes down this way, down here, and then up there. So we're going to have it going from left to right. Bam. Uh, what is the direction of the current in the resistor at instant immediately after? Close. I'm going to say it's to the right, and I'm going to assume that what they mean is the direction is from left to right? Oh, I feel bad, I went through all that work and then they have an ambiguous answer. This I. All right, what is the direction of current in the resistor after the switch has been closed for several seconds? All right, so after several seconds, what I'm gonna assume they mean by this, no, oh, can't miss up the negative, there we go. So the current is going to build up. 
or the magnetic field is going to build up. And eventually, so what's going to happen is a magnetic field is going to be established. Um, it's going to be related to the current. It's going to be kind of like, nope. And eh, close. Eh, you get the picture. Like that. It's going to build up. Magnetic field is what? Mu naught I N over L. So the I is what gets bigger, which causes the magnetic field to get bigger. So eventually, it's going to reach a maximum pinnacle. I'm going to assume that maximum pinnacle happens after several seconds. Which is kind of what they're going through. Because usually, the uh, current will ramp up after um, milliseconds. So when you're talking about seconds, it's like, oh, okay, it's already done. Ah, there's probably some sexual in a window there I can make. Anyway, um, so DADT, the area of the inductor doesn't change, so that's going to be zero. Then this guy we're also going to call zero. So we're going to say that induced voltage, uh, EMF, e uh, uh, epsilon is EMF, which is basically just voltage, is going to be zero. And therefore there's going to be no induced voltage, therefore there's going to be no current. The current will be zero. It'll not actually be zero, but it'll be pretty darn close to zero. Pretty much exactly zero. What is the direction of the current in the resistor at an instant after the switch has been thrown open? All right, so it's uh, same question, except now instead of closing the switch, they are um, shutting it, all right? Or no, instead of closing the switch, they're now opening it. Shutting and closing are the exact same thing. So the area of the solenoid stays the same. Now this time, the um, magnetic field with respect to time is shrinking. So this guy will be less than zero. So we have less than zero times less than zero times positive is going to be greater than zero. So the um, um, induced voltage is going to be, create a magnetic is going to create a current which is going to create a magnetic field in the same direction as this guy. We go up here and we look at it. The magnetic field is from left to right. So the magnetic field that's going to be created is not going to be this guy at all, but it's going to be in the same direction, so we need it going that direction. Up, up. That was me doing the um, uh, right hand rule, not a truly pathetic attempt at a pull-up. So up and over. So go down, go down, go down, go down, go up, go through. Come up. Yeah, it seems reasonable. So we'll go from right to left. So we'll go to the left. What is the direction of the current in the resistor and instant after the switch has been thrown open? So it'll be to the left. And it makes sense. Um, one way to think of induced uh, EMF is that it opposes a change. And the change that's opposed here is in the beginning, the um, magnetic field is getting stronger, so it wants to oppose the magnetic field by making it weaker. And then finally, it's going to, when we open the switch, the magnetic field is going to get weaker, so it's going to create a magnetic field to make the whole thing stronger, trying to restore it to its original grandeur, as, you, as one might say. So that's how you think of this one. Um, I assume the rest of the problems here are going to be a review, so we're going to go through them, hopefully make your life a little bit easier getting ready for the exam coming up. All right?